Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Damn, Kay. That is weak. NBC, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Kid, you need to snap out of it and ask out that sexy Ms. Magoo. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know love at first sight when I see it. I saw it when I met Angie. I saw it the first time Dotcom laid eyes on Grizz's fiance. Okay. There is something about Jennifer that just makes me all carsick inside. Now's the time for gallantry. You may call me Kenneth the Page, because that is who I am. Would you like to go out with me tomorrow night? Yes, indeedy, corn cobs? Well, I'm gonna say yes, because this just feels right, and my instincts have never let me down, except for looking at that eclipse. It's a Valentine's dately do. <laughs> Let's play some poker. I call. What have you got, Kenneth? All clovers. I win. Very clever boy, Kenneth. But the curtain has been drawn back now, and I know the real you. I think he's confusing me with someone else. Hello, Jenna. Still failing at overeating just like you fail at everything in your life? What? You quitter. You gonna quit this like you quit fashion school? Give up like you gave up on your relationship with David Blaine? He's the one who drove the wedge with his magic. Also, you've got so many daddy issues, the only thing keeping you from being a stripper is your weird mole. Kenneth, that's very hurtful. You lied about your brother drowning so people would come to your one-woman show. Kenneth. I've never heard you talk this way. Your toes look like dried up shrimps. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, Daddy. Go on, keep talking. What else don't you like about me? school reunion was so much fun. Hey there, Michael. Oh my god, Phil Bearer. Hello, Taniqua. So, what team do you play for? Oh, it's not really a team. It's just a bunch of guys who like doing gymnastics. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be in town for a little while. Maybe we could get together. Hi, you're friendly. Good god. Devin is gay. He's even more powerful than I thought. I have some real problems with this Law & Order SVU script. We can't say Dick Wolf on TV. Kenneth, I have something I need to tell you. Last night, when you left, Hazel came on to me because she wants me to put her in a movie. Hazel, is this true? Yeah, it is true. Not what I said was I would never sleep with Tracy for a part in a movie. Oh, please, you would love for me to fall asleep on top of you. Come on, Kim Moore washers and dryers. Who are you gonna believe here? My best friend. Not really. And my girlfriend. You wish. Well, I always believe you, sir, because you're on television. And webisodes. But yesterday you told me our women are queens and they're always right, which means I should believe Hazel. But that would make you wrong, Mr. Jordan. And you've never been wrong about anything before. It's a blessing and a purse. You can't both be right. 
Unless Hazel is always right, but only because you said so, Mr. Jordan, which means you're right too. And both sides being right is like kissing your sister. A wonderful treat. <laughs> bad news, Jordan. We'll see who's still working here in six months. My hearing is bad because of firecrackers, but we'll see who's still working here in six months. That's what I just said. What? Hello, Angie. I hear you're single now. That's cool. What? I like your top. I'm a real good sex person. I do it all the different ways. Uh-huh. Well, I don't have a husband anymore, so you can come over any time. Oh, I will. I'll come over at night. <laughs> Get it. Uh, you should see my A game. Uh. Kenneth, what are you doing here? Well, I was in the neighborhood. Huh. Do you want me to dance for you? Yep. Touch your belt buckle. Oh, touch the peacock. Oh, you're a peacock. The time is now 7.52. 7.52? You warlock. You came to entrance me. Donaghy sent you. California? No way, Ken. You gotta take this promotion, do a sloppy job, and they'll leave you alone. That's how I got out of doing foreplay with Angie. And my taxes. But that's not in my nature. If you've learned anything from me, it's how to do a bad job. Go, honor me, save yourself, but first give me a sandwich. Get it yourself, Chubbs. I'm on a coffee break. That's my boy. I won't leave you, sir no matter what it takes. Good afternoon and welcome. Not, we begin our stupid tour of this once great network outside Studio 6H. Uh-oh, ring, ring. <laughs> What's up? Nothing, just giving a dumb tour to a bunch of uggos. Let's meet up later and smoke some drug cigarettes. What did you do on your tour today? Those were the Cable Town executives, our new bosses. Sir, I was just trying to do a bad job so I wouldn't have to go to Los Angeles. Everyone there smiles creepily all the time, and that's sort of my thing. Kenneth, you're not going to Los Angeles <sighs> because they're making me fire you. You're fired. Day. You won't have Kenneth Allen Parcel to kick around anymore. So I want to tell you people what I really think of you. <laughs> this ain't the no, no. For four long years, I have listened to you all complain about your East Coast media elite problems, your apartment renovations, and your overpriced. Star Wars memorabilia. That doorman is hammered. I have watched you throw away better food than my family eats at Christmas. And I have loved it. You people, you are my best friends, and I hope you get everything you want in life. Kenneth. <laughs> So kiss my face! That was actually really sweet. I'll see you all in heaven! <laughs> <laughs>